Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle and today I'm bringing you my January and February book haul. So I know I said I'm going to try and cut down on my book buying in the last video, but January and February a ton of my pre-orders came in and just some books that I was really excited about. So I have a ton to show you today. I think I have 21 books and I'm just going to get started. So I'm just going to show them to you in the order that I ended up getting them. And January was my birthday month, so I do have a book of the month subscription. And with book of the month, you're able to pick up an extra book on your birthday month because they give you a free credit. So I was able to pick up three book of the month books since I did have an extra credit on my own since I had skipped a month and I forgot to press the skip button. So it charged me again. So I actually ended up getting three books in January. And the first one that I got was Interesting Facts About Space by Emily Austin. I don't really know much about this one. I had to pick one of the monthly ones in order to get the other two. So I just went with this one. I like space. I'm interested to see what it's about. From what I know is it's brimming with quirky humor, charm, and heart. Interesting facts about space effortlessly shows us the power of revealing our secret shames and the most beautifully human parts of all of us. So I'm excited about this one. The front cover is nice, but the back cover actually is really cute as well. It has the window with the shooting star. So I was really excited to get this one. Then the second book that I got from Book of the Month is going to be Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. This is her young adult debut and I have all the other Allie Hazelwood books from Book of the Month. So I wanted to get this one. Still have not read it yet but I hope to pick this one up soon. I'm a huge chess fan, so I'm excited to see what this one's about. This one also has a really cute back and it has like the blue and pink there. And then the last of the book of the month books that I got was Love Actually by Allie Hazelwood. Like I said, I now have all of the book of the month books for her and I really wish that they had come out with Bride, but alas, they didn't. So that is one I'm going to have to pick up separate on my own. But this one was one of her STEM romances. I have read it already. I actually had a paperback copy of it and I ended up selling that one so that I could pick this one up so it matched my other ones. Next up is a book I should have gotten in October, but my fairy loot box never showed up. So I've been fighting with them for a while to get a copy because I really wanted to read this one. Still haven't read it yet, but I will soon. But I got The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzan. This edition is so, so pretty. I love the cover. It is beautiful. Then we have these really, really pretty sprayed edges as well. And then we have a small summary on the back. And then the naked hardcover is absolutely beautiful. It has the title on the front and then the back is actually the same. It just doesn't have the title inside of the moon there. And then inside the end papers are absolutely gorgeous. And then next up is another book that I should have gotten last year, but the bookish box was having some problems with their shipping. So I actually ended up getting it in January and that is Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So I really love the cover of this one. It has red foil on it and I like the way it pops when it hits the light. The spine is really pretty as well with the red foil and the sword. And then on the back, there's this bird and the sprayed edges are beautiful. The naked hardcover is gorgeous as well. It has this orangey foiling along the whole book. Absolutely beautiful. The inside has these beautiful end pages. It is the same on both the front and the back. But one other special thing we get is the back of the dust jacket has this darker scene and this is actually the one that I have it set in my bookshelf on. I'm very excited to pick this one up. I have read some of her from Blood and Ash series. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think I only read the first two books and have not continued, but I'm hoping that maybe this other series from her, I'll just feel a little bit more excited about it. So the next book I got is Midnight Ruin by Katie Robert. This is the Barnes and Noble special edition and it has the pink accents around the corners of everything and around the words. I read this right away. I loved this book. I gave it five stars. It was a poly romance between Eurydice, Orpheus, and Charon in her Dark Olympus series. So if you like retellings, you should definitely pick her up. They are spicy and so, so good. 
Then next up is another fairy loot book. I got Two Twisted Crowns by Rachel Gillig. This one has the red accents in the corners. We've got the spine. We have the back that also has the red accents. And then it did come with red sprayed pages. These were a little bit of a different red than the fairy loot post that they put up about it. So I was kind of disappointed there. They're kind of darker than I expected, but it's still a really pretty book. I have actually not read the first book in this series yet. I am hoping that I'm really going to love it, which is why I went and I picked up this book without having read the first one. But Underneath the dust jacket, it is a little bit darker, but the first book was really dark as well. We have this really pretty tree. And then on the back here, we just have some plants with like a couple red flowers in there. And then we have this gorgeous end page on the front, as well as this one on the back. And then on the reverse of the dust jacket, we have this beautiful artwork. And it also came with a signed book plate. I just have not put it into the book yet. There wasn't like a really good place to put it. So I was going to try and figure out where I wanted to place it. Then next up, I received my Waterstones fourth wing. It is the one that actually matches the sprayed edges of the Iron Flame from Waterstones. And the only other special thing on it is I think the inner map is a little bit different than the original map. But I'm excited to have this one. I loved Fourth Wing and I can't wait for more of the series to come out. So then next up, I got the Hello Lovely Box edition of A Lesson in Thorns by Sierra Simone. I really, really like this edition. I love what they did with the cover. And on the back, it also looks like the pages are burning and I really, really love it. So excited to have this one. I'm actually planning on rereading the series this year since I got the original versions of it and I want to tab and annotate them. So next up, another fairy loot book I got is The City of Stardust by Georgia Summers. I actually really love that they did a completely different cover for this one. And I love, love, love the fact that the words are all holographic. So it is so cool. I don't know if you can tell. And then on the back of the dust jacket, we get the original cover just in a different colorway. And then here we have the hard case with the design on there and the edge. So this is the beautiful front end page. And then we also have a beautiful back end page. Such beautiful artwork and I really enjoyed this book. And then take a look at the beautiful edges on it. There is the city down here and then on the top of the book we have the top of a key and then on the bottom corner right here we get the other half of the key. And then next up was my most anticipated book of this year, which is House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Mass. This is the Walmart edition. There's only the special story in the back. There's nothing really else special about this book other than the fact that I tabbed and annotated it. So the pages look really, really pretty with all of the neon colors. And then next up is another bookish box one. Again, I should have gotten this last year, but they were having shipping problems. And I've actually already mentioned this author already today, but I got Salt Kiss by Sierra Simone. I really like the flower pattern on this one. I think it's a really pretty design and I'm excited to have it. And then we have the beautiful sprayed edges. It follows the same motif as the cover. Under the dust jacket is beautiful, it is super shiny, and it just pops. Then we have the beautiful end pages, and it is also signed by Sierra. And then lastly, we have this beautiful under the dust jacket art that you could flip around if you wanted to. And then next up is a book I specifically bought myself for my birthday present to myself because it was my favorite book of the month is going to be Nobody's Darling by Sarah Blue. This book is a special edition of it. If you can see, it has the foiling on there. It's nice and shiny and it is signed by her as well. It says, You're Gonna Fucking Ruin Me, Darling by Sarah Blue and it is made out to me. Love this, can't wait to reread it, and I will definitely be tabbing it up when I reread it. Then back on over to Fairy Loot, I have A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. This cover really shows off the fantasy vibes of an adult novel. 
I'm so happy that they went with this type of motif. So I really love all of the gold foiling that they used on this cover. It is absolutely gorgeous. I do love a nice white book. And then the blue really makes it pop. We've got the spine here, gorgeous. The back kind of looks like the front and we just get some words on it as well. And then the edges are absolutely beautiful. We get these runes. They actually go on the top as well as the bottom and they came out so nice. Underneath the dust jacket, we have this beautiful foiled picture of both of the main characters. I love when Fairy Loot does this on their covers. I don't know what it is, but it just is absolutely gorgeous to me. Then we also have two beautiful end pages. I love seeing a hot guy in a fantasy novel. And this one is signed as well. This actually is one of the best books they've done, in my opinion. I love this book so much. It is so beautiful. The book itself was really good. I gave it five stars, and I cannot wait for more from this author. And then next up from the box Faded Romance, I was able to snag some of their scratch and dent copies of a monster romance that I love. The first one is A Soul to Keep. And the next one is A Soul to Heal, which is book one and two in the Duskwalker Bride series. I do really love these discrete covers and I'm super excited to have these and I will definitely be trying to collect the rest of them when they do them. Then next up from Illumicrate, I got in my pre-order of All This Twisted Glory by Tahara Mafi. And this is the third book in the This Woven Kingdom series. I've been really bad. I actually haven't read this series at all yet, but I loved the look of these books and I didn't want to miss out on them. I'm really, really hoping that I'm going to love them. And I ended up buying this one just so I didn't miss out. And then next up is a book that I don't even know how I managed to get my hands on because it was another scratch and dent sale. This one was from the Mystic Box and it is the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey. So this cover really captures the whole series. I absolutely love it. We've got the dagger. We have the two main characters on the back in a lovely silver foil. And then we have the main character here. I just love the detail. The naked hardcover is gorgeous as well. So much silver foiling. I really, really love it. They did such an amazing job on this book. I am so happy that I have it. And then we have the digital signature on the inside front end page. And then the back end page is just this red smoke. I can't believe I got this because it sold out in like two minutes and I managed to snag one and I'm so happy. I actually just did a vlog of me reading this again since it was a reread. It is spoiler filled so just be aware of that but I do have that up on my channel. And then last up I have another set of books from Fairy Loot that I pre-ordered last year that finally showed up. So first up we have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare which is part of the Shadowhunter series. Fairy Loot did an amazing job of this. If you look really closely, there's so much detail put into this. I am so happy that I got these copies. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they really match the copies of the Last Hour series that they did really well. Next up is City of Ashes. Again, look super closely at the detail there. Absolutely gorgeous. Black Books with Gold Foil is another one of my favorite things. So these books to me are just absolutely stunning and I love them. Also, I'm a huge Shadowhunters fan, so any special edition I am down to get. And then last but not least, we have City of Glass. So, so pretty. You can see Alicante in the background there. We've got the rose on the spine. Another quote on the back. Beautiful sprayed edges. And I do love all the foiling on the end pages. 
And then these books line up really nicely to make the same picture that's on the spines of the paperback copies. I don't own those copies, so I'm really happy to have them here so I don't have to buy another set. So that was my book haul for January and February. I can't believe I got so many books. This month, March, is going a little bit better. I only have five books for the month of March, so I think it's going to be a little bit longer before I do my next book haul. Let me know what you've gotten recently down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!